Hi, welcome to another video. So, there's a new model in town, and it's called OpenThinker. This is a fully open model that has both the model weights openly available, along with the data set and training code also available, which means you can replicate the model yourself as well. This model is claimed to be a state-of-the-art open data reasoning model, and it's made to show that powerful reasoning models can be trained by scaling data, verifying reasoning traces, and scaling model size. They say that this model outperforms existing open data reasoning models on a host of reasoning benchmarks, including math, code, and science. The model comes in two sizes, a 7B variant and a 32B variant, which is majorly mentioned. These models are based on the Quen 2.532B model because it is small and can be run locally with not as many resources as a 72B model. They trained the OpenThinker 32B on the same OpenThoughts 114K dataset as their earlier model, OpenThinker 7B. Using DeepSeq R1, they collected reasoning traces and solution attempts for a curated mix of 173K questions, which has also been released openly as the Open Thoughts Unverified 173K dataset. After this, they verified the answers for correctness and then made a final dataset of about 114K tokens. You can see the difference between verified dataset training and the unverified one. The verified one scores higher numbers, while the unverified one doesn't, which is quite interesting to see. Anyway, if we look at the benchmarks, then you'll see that it is trained on about seven times fewer tokens than DeepSeek's R1 Distill model, but it performs similarly. Although it performs a tad bit less in some benchmarks, in others it performs even better, which is interesting to see. The 7B model was released a bit back, and it is also good, and performs similarly to the DeepSeek Distill variant. The model is available on Olama to easily use it locally. Let's try it out with these 13 questions. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform that gives you access to more than 10 models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and even image generation models like Flux, and video generation models like Kling, and much more, all in one place, for a price that's even cheaper than one chat GPT membership, starting at only $11. Not just that, they have a bunch of AI tools that can help you use these models in intricate ways. They have also recently added an artifacts feature to their platform that now allows you to generate code, preview it, and share it with others using preview links, which is great. It can even run Python code and create charts. You can check them out through the link in the description, and make sure to use my coupon code KING25 to get an additional 25% off these already great deals. Now, Let's come back to the video. The first question is, tell me the name of a country whose name ends with Laya. Give me the capital city of that country as well. The answer should be something like Australia and Canberra. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And the 32B is correct, while the 7B is not. So, let's mark it accordingly. Now, the next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and both of them are correct. So, this is also a pass. The next question is, write a haiku where the second letter of each word, when put together, spells simple. Let's send it and see. Okay, so here's the answer, and none of them are correct. So, this is not a pass. The next one is, 
Name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has eleven letters in total, and for which all vowels in the word are ordered alphabetically. The answer could be something like transparent. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and the 32B is correct, while the 7B is not correct. This is the first less than 70B model to pass this question, which is great. So, let's mark it accordingly. The next question is, Courtney said that there were 48 people, but Kelly said that Courtney had overstated the number by 20%. If Kelly was right, how many people were there? The answer should be 40. Let's send it and check. This is the answer, and both of them are correct as well. Let's mark it as a pass. The next one is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and the 32B is correct while the 7B is not. Let's mark it accordingly. Now, the next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's send it and see. Now, here's the answer, and this is also correct for both of them. So, let's mark it as a pass as well. The next one is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9. Let's send it and see. Okay, it first gave me the equation, which I asked it to solve and give me a rounded number. Here's the answer, and both of them are correct. Let's mark it as a pass as well. Now, it doesn't work well in coding at all. For some reason, it just keeps giving unformatted code, which is very bad to see. So, all of them are a fail, but that's fine. And the 32B model is actually quite good for general tasks. I mean, it is really good. It's the first model of less than 70B to answer the word question correctly, which is great to see. Plus, the best part is that this is not supposed to be a proper model, but instead is a proof of concept about how you can do distillation and use that. The data set is also open, which makes it super easy for other researchers to make the data set even better and maybe train even better base models like Phi 4 or Llama 3.3 and make it perform even better. But this is quite good to see, and it's super cool for sure. You can run it locally, as the 32B model can be run on an RTX 4090, which is quite good. You can also use the 7B model, and it is also good. But I'd recommend instead using Phi 4, as that might be better for you to use. Such open source research and open data are really cool to see, and they make future research super good and allow for people to get some better results. You could also fine-tune and do everything like that. I would have liked to see some more model variants on the data set. A Phi 4 would be good, but it's not available yet, and I hope that it also becomes available soon so that we can use it to do some more complex stuff because the Quen 2.5 base model is getting quite outdated nowadays. Overall, it's pretty cool. Before ending the video, please check out my other channel called AI Seeking, where I'm also uploading some cool AI content daily. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.